caterpillars again? Welcome to Stargazers. I'm Dean Regis, astronomer from the Cincinnati Observatory. And I'm James Albury, director of the Kika Silva Plot Planetarium in Gainesville, Florida. It's not easy being green, particularly if you're a caterpillar. So with St. Patrick's Day just around the corner, we thought we'd share one of our favorite ways to remember the order of Jupiter's four largest moons. That's right, James. Jupiter is in a great spot for viewing right now. So get your telescopes ready and let's go eat some green caterpillar. Jupiter is the largest planet in our solar system, and it's the fifth one from the sun, with our Earth being number three. Earth is, on average, 93 million miles away from the sun, whereas Jupiter's average distance is 484 million miles. But because Jupiter is a much slower moving planet than our Earth, Jupiter and Earth constantly vary their distance from each other. When Jupiter is at its farthest distance from us and is on the other side of the sun as seen from Earth, it can be as far as 593 million miles away. However, once each year, Earth and Jupiter line up on the same side of the sun and are many millions of miles closer to each other. Whenever this happens, we say Jupiter is at opposition because Jupiter is opposite the sun in the sky as seen from Earth. When Jupiter is near opposition, it's great for viewing because it's at its closest and brightest. Jupiter was at opposition back on February 2nd, 2015, and was only 4.3 astronomical units away. And although it's over 15 million miles farther away this week, at 4.5 astronomical units, it is still great for viewing, even in a small telescope. Here's where I Eat Green Caterpillars comes in. Okay, we've got our skies set up for about an hour after sunset any night this week facing east. About halfway up in the sky, one of the brightest objects you'll see will be Jupiter. Jupiter will be near the backwards question mark shape of stars that mark the head of Leo the Lion. You can find Leo by using the stars in the bowl of the Big Dipper. Take the two stars opposite the pointer stars and draw a line southward and you'll run smack dab into the stars of Leo the Lion. Jupiter is by far the easiest planet to see through even the smallest telescope. In fact, if the air is still, you can see Jupiter's cloud bands, and if the timing is right, you can see the famous Great Red Spot, a giant storm system larger than three Earths lined up side by side. As you look through your telescope, you'll also notice something that attracted the attention of Galileo, the first person who ever looked at Jupiter through a telescope. He saw four tiny pinpoints of light which seemed to extend out from Jupiter's equator. If you observe Jupiter each night, you'll notice that these four lights constantly change their position from night to night. Sometimes you'll see two lined up on one side and two on the other. Sometimes you'll see three and one, sometimes four lined up on one side, and so on. These are Jupiter's four largest moons, and they're called the Galilean satellites because they were first discovered by Galileo in 1610. Now, although Jupiter, as of today, is known to have 67 moons, these four moons are the biggies. And in fact, all but one of these four is larger than our moon. Their names in order outward from Jupiter are Io, Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto. Each of these moons has unique characteristics. For example, Io has volcanoes that erupt molten sulfur, and Europa has a liquid ocean of water beneath an icy crust. Ganymede is the largest moon in the solar system, and it's even larger than the planet Mercury. And Callisto is one of the most heavily cratered of all the large moons in our solar system. Surprisingly, some people have a difficult time remembering their correct order. But a while back, Jack Herkheimer shared how he remembered them. Jack decided to take the first letter of each moon's name and think of a catchy phrase that he would never forget. He came up with I for Io, Eat for Europa, Green for Ganymede, and Caterpillars for Callisto. Doing that, we've never forgotten their correct order since. So, just remember, I eat green caterpillars and impress your friends. It's easy to do if you keep, keep looking, looking up. up.